welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. Interactivity matters because, if done well, it will likely boost your student engagement and their overall satisfaction. Engagement is paramount when it comes to online and blended courses. This conclusion comes from the fact that it is widely known that massive online open courses, or MOOCs, have notoriously low percentages of completion. This clearly means that successful course design for online and blended courses isn't a one-size-fits-all formula that simply thrives on technology. In order to get students highly engaged, I would recommend organizing topic-specific content, which is consequential and of superior quality. Facilitators should include tailor-made information that helps students expand their knowledge and succeed in meeting their intended learning outcomes. Invite your students to enter a new realm by proposing them to embark on an intellectual expedition. This can be achieved by creating eye-catching visuals that are hyperlinked between the superior quality content mentioned previously, make use of pop culture, internet meme culture, and country-specific trends. Humans are emotional beings, which will usually be triggered by taboos, surprises, and unconventional topics. Integrate real-world, industry-relevant examples. Recreate industry pressures and tasks in your exercises and assessments. Authentic assessment isn't only recommended, but also vastly pertinent since students can collaborate in devising it, thus increasing, once again, engagement and interaction. Integration of low-stakes quizzes can be an important tool to retain attention during the delivery of lengthy audiovisual content and help consolidate knowledge. The literature recommends, however, dividing audiovisual content in small six minutes chunks. Try to do everything recommended previously while promoting peer-to-peer -peer interaction through social media, mobile chatting applications, and internet forums. We also recommend a sturdy feedback loop to be put in place so that students are constantly aware of their progress and know which areas need to be improved. Educators can do this by setting a clear communication avenue and specify a turnaround time for providing feedback. Research suggests writing 150 words of feedback per task. At NU, we can use Moodle for that purpose when class sizes are large. For smaller class sizes, a more personable approach might be recommended. Inform your students that their feedback on the courses and its contents is welcome and will be taken into consideration. Once the course has been improved due to student-driven feedback, we recommend the facilitator to inform their students about it. This approach builds trust and increases interaction and engagement. When it comes to full-fledged online courses, it is important to stress the need to create high-quality audiovisual content. It is also necessary to create a highly effective interaction design strategy and apply it where the course will be hosted. When it comes to these two facets of online learning, the Hub Studio is equipped to meet demands as illustrated by the mixed media content we've been sharing with you thus far. Since full-fledged online courses are entirely delivered in an asynchronous way, educators will only have control over the following variables. Style of interaction with students, feedback response strategy, and analysis and implementation of student feedback. It is also recommended to add two supervisors to the course design team. One of the supervisors troubleshoots the technical aspects related to the course's online hosting system and provides regular maintenance. The other supervisor, usually a teaching assistant, will help faculty with student queries. Interacting with students in a timely manner is paramount if we want to keep them engaged. The teaching assistant will also moderate online-based forum interactions in order to keep a healthy and inclusive environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next episode.